and a very good morning everyone. Welcome to the show on this uh, rather bleak Sunday morning here in Melbourne, or at least it was when I came into work. Hopefully the weather may have picked up a bit, but uh, even if it hasn't, it's a great day in front of the television here on Channel 7 with some great sporting action, World of Sport replay for the next hour, then World of Sport, and of course the big game this afternoon, as Sandy mentioned, between Sydney and St Kilda, live from the SCG at five minutes after two. And in the next hour, we'll take a look at the big day of racing, a great card yesterday at uh, Mooney Valley. Wayne, could you turn your watch down, please? And also, we will have greyhound racing and harness racing highlights from throughout the week. Let's have a look at the Tats Lotto numbers now. As uh, drawn here on seven last night, draw number 531, Division 1 prize pool $3.391 million, which is almost enough to buy a new musical watch. The numbers were 3, 12, 23... 24, 27 and 40 and the supplementary numbers 21 and 33. In Super 66 last night, over half a million dollars in the pool there and the combination needed is 2, 2, 0, 5, 0 and 3. Good luck with those numbers in Tats Lotto and Super 66. Well, hopefully your numbers may have been lucky at Mooney Valley yesterday. It was uh, Hiskin Steeple Day and also the running of the Manicato Stakes and we'll be back with the card after this break. We've seen a whole lot of... Penetrometer reading 4.28 and the Mount Cotterill Hurdle opened up proceedings. And the favourite here was Shari at 11 to 8 and your commentator is the accurate one, Bill Collins. Racing, caught them as one. Shari just in front on the outside. Bunchfield, they go to the first now. And over it on the inside, Naraka and Rosan just in front of Shari, Rock, Fun, Kinzan, Cut Price, a length time, a guy and two to look alert. Here's the second. Shari, the leader as they went to it, landed a length in front of Rosan. Third is Rock, Fun. On the inside, Naraka, a half to Kinzan, three deep cut price, a length and a half, I'm a guy, and about five lengths away last is look alert. Round the 800 metre corner, and Shari bowling along, he's got a big hole in him, he wants to go faster. One and a half to Rock Fun, he's holding him well back to the field, coming up to the third jump, and Shari draws to it about two lengths in front. Uh, from in second place, Rock Fun, cut price third, the grey rose on fourth, a length and a half, Kinzan, and then came I'm a guy, two to Naraka, and look alert, drops out. Here's the jump at the 4.50 the first time, uh, Shari, as soon as he sees a jump, he puts his head down and really dives into it. And he got over that about four or five in front on the corner the first time. Must lead by six now to Rock Fun and a half cut price. Three lengths to Rock Arn and a neck to Kinzan. A length and a half, I'm a guy. is racing three out off the fence from Narako. And look alerts, tailed right off. Into the straight for the jump in the straight now. About uh, 2,000, a little less to go. Shari about five in front. Oh, he crashed into it. About five in front, however, over it, going to the judge. From in second place, Rock Fun. I'm a guy out four deep now is moving up the join cut price. Kinzan got, uh, was going to get squeezed up. The boy alertly pulled him out of it. On the inside, Rosan and Naraka now three deep. And look alert, tailed off. 1,600 to go. Shari about three lengths in front as they go down the hill to the next double from Rock Fun. One to cut price. I'm a guy out four deep and pulling a little bit from Kinzan, the centre, and Rosan as they went to that one. He made a better leap there, uh, Shari. Here's the second of the double. Shari about three in front as he draws to it. Uh, from in, Oh, I'm a guy. Knuckle badly at it. Recovered well. Uh, round the turn at the 1,300. Shari about four lengths to Rock Fun. Cut price and I'm a guy the outside. Kinzan hard ridden a length away with Naraka. Went up quickly from Rosan and forget look alert. I think he's broken down. Back where they started and going to the 1,000 metre mark and Shari about three lengths to I'm a guy traveling well a half the cut prize going to the next a length away then rock fun Naraka and Kinzan over that one and Shari out jumped them landed four lengths in front of I'm a guy a length cut prize Naraka is running on pretty well from cut prize Kinzan hard ridden and Rosan round the 800 corner Shari four in front he's hard at work on I'm a guy now a length away Naraka battling on Kinzan's plodding on solidly next from cut price coming up to the third last Shari about three lengths in front of Naraka who's gone up second. Uh, I'm a guy jump poorly again. Kinzan under the whip running on but the lead is nicely clear. Coming to the second last. Shari about five in front of Kinzan has gone up second or oh, Shari jumped it like a stag. Kinzan second then the Rako. I'm a guy dropping right out from Rosan. Cut prize and rock fun. But Shari's only got this last hurdle between him and victory. And as they swing around the corner it's Shari six in front. Owner Tom Danaher goes for the 
four leaf Clover coming towards the last. And second Kinzan, then Naraco, and a long way back then I'm a guy. Showery being nursed towards the last. Now the boy boots him into it about five in front. Over it like a stag. Kinzan second, then Naraco. And Showery goes on to win by five lengths. Second placing to Kinzan. Third is Naraco. Fifteen lengths away came I'm a guy. And on the inside of it was Rosan. They finished together. Next cut price. Uh, last rock front and look alert failed to complete the course. He was pulled up at about the halfway mark. Certainly was a brilliant exhibition of jumping by Showery in the opening race. The 11 to 8 favourite from Kinzan 9 to 2, Naraco 3rd at 11. The Benson and Hedges handicap was the second over 1600 and short row the favourite of 9 to 4. Racing. Caught them in a pretty good even line too. Pure tone away well with propeller. Wider out short row. Born Free and Ranger up near the lead and Celso. They all want to be up there and then trade line. They were followed by Cheppy's Girl. Black Knight back near the rear with Knight Judge and Royal Performer last. At the 1300 metres, propeller led from Born Free the outside and a length to Celso third. Cheppy's Girl wide from Pure Tone the rails. One and a half to short row. It was followed then by Knight Judge moving up quickly with range and there followed then on the inside trade line. About two lengths further back and then in a line of three, Black Knight, Prince Imperial and Royal Performers on the inside of them. Heading towards the 800, Propeller was just the leader but now they're up there, nothing really wants to lead. Uh, Cheppy's Girls making a run around the outside of the field. Celso is still getting the run of the race and Born Free up with the lead with range. Short row trying to get off the fence, two lengths to Knight Judge. Black Knight's being wound up around the outside and he's raced away from stable mate trade line as they come up now by the 500 and a good battle about six in line and here's Black Knight, he's grabbed them Black Knight, the Melbourne Cup winners, charged to the lead at the 450 and shot away. Black Knight by three lengths to short row. Then Propeller followed by Range and Knight Judge and next is Celso, but Black Knight's a mile in front of the corner. Straightened up a good three lengths clear from short row under the whip, followed by Knight Judge, Celso and Range. But Black Knight keeping going, is about four in front. He's going to walk in. Celso will get a place if he gets a run. He mightn't get one. And Black Knight goes down the line to win by four lengths. Close to the miners, and it's going to go to, oh, let's see, Knight Judge, I think, second, a nose in front of Short Row, and a nose away, fourth, Celso. Then Range, followed by Royal Performer, further back then is Trade Line with Propeller, then Prince Imperial, Pure Tone, and back towards the rear is Cheppy's Gold and Born Free. Great to see the 84 Melbourne Cup winner, Black Knight, back in the winner's circle at 9-1. to one. Short Row, 9-4 to four favourite, getting second just in front of Knight Judge at 12-1. to one. one of the principal attractions yesterday at Mooney Valley was the Ainsley China Hiskin steeplechase over 3,600 metres, and the Tasmanian Galloper Monsis, the favourite at 4-1. to one racing and a little slowly away on the inside Kanahai and Arabian Myth didn't begin all that quickly Tengahari and Prince Lindell are back near the rear here's the first coming up and Lord Rill one of the leaders with Roger and out and Misty Leap with a big jump over on the outside has gone up to tackle them too Monsis just behind them with Mr Spence going out of the straight then Trans Yonder followed by Vim Norfolk Tiger three lengths Tengahari Red Rody Arabian Myth Prince Lindell and uh, two away in last place Kanahai now, 16 fences to jump. They head to the treble down the side for the first time. And Roger and out, led by two lengths to Lord Rill. A length and a half uh, further back there was Mr. Spence. Mons is moving up on the outside. He's looking for the lead. Misty Leap in the centre as they went over that one from Trans Yonder. Then Vim followed by Norfolk Tiger as they go over the second. Mons is gone. The boy hanging on. He can't hang on any longer. He's down, Mons is. And as they go over the last of the treble, he's OK. The boy shows the horse. And to hear the leader now is Mr. Spence with Roger and out a length and a half to Lord Rill. Oh, Misty Leap's broken down. He's being pulled up. Now, in fourth placing into the back is Vim, and they're followed by Trans Yonder Norfolk Tiger. Five to Tengahari as they go to the double at the 1,000. They were followed further back in the field then by Red Rody. Uh, back behind it is Prince Lindell and Kanahai, and Arabian Myth is last. About 20 off the lead over the second of the double. Heading to the 800, and the leader, Roger, and out about three lengths now to Mr. Spence and a half, Lord Rill. Three lengths away, Trans Yonder and Vim, and they're five lengths to Norfolk Tiger. Three to Tengahari coming to the double up by the school. They were followed then two lengths further back, Red Rody and Kanahai to the outside. Three to Arabian Myth. Geez, a long way back, and last, Prince Lindell. They come up now to the jump near the 350. 
Dusty. And Roger and out led about a length to uh, in second placing over it is Mr. Spence. A length away then came Transgender and a half to Lord Rill as a riderless horse there, which could cause bother. One and a half Vim getting closer, three to Norfolk Tiger, four or five Tengahari, two to Red Roadie. Then Arabian Myth followed further back by Canna High and last Prince Lindell. In the straight coming to the ninth fence and the leader Roger and out. He's bowling along about two and a half lengths clear. Runs out coming to this fence, jumped nearly the middle of the fence. Landed about three in front. Uh, getting up on the rails, Lord Rill to join Mr. Spence going out of the straight. A length trans yonder. Two to Vim, about five lengths to Tengahari. He's getting to work on it. Going past Norfolk Tiger. And then Red Roadie, Arabian Myth and about five lengths away then Canahai and Prince Lindell with his ears scrubbed off. Down to the treble at the 1400 again. They've got eight to jump. And the leader, Roger, and out, but he's hanging out badly at all his fences, and he's trying to run off again. And Lord Rill's gone up to hit the front as they went over that one. Mr. Spence and out wide, Roger, and out, and Tranjonda moving up in the centre. Tengahari's only two lengths behind them now, and then followed Vim, followed by Red Rody over the last of the treble, Norfolk Tiger. Then Arabian Myth, four or five lengths, Prince Lindell and Canahai. 1,200 metres out, Roger, and out, coming back onto the course, again in front of Lord Rill, two to Tranjonda, three, Mr. Spence. One to Tengahari with his ears scrubbed off, but he's still making a little ground from Vim. Then came Red Roadie further back from Arabian Myth. The double at the 1,000, Roger and out over it safely. Two and a half, Lord Rill and one to change yonder. The second of the double, oh, he hit it in front. So did Lord Rill. He's getting off the track, coming back on after jumping it again. Still in front, Roger and out. A length and a half to Lord Rill, two to trans yonder. They've got away six lengths to Vim, Tengahari, Mr. Spence. The others aren't in it. Three to jump, Roger and out. Covered a lot of ground but he's still in front and landed three lengths clear second placing on the inside lord rill from trans yonder and six lengths tenga harry and vim they come down now to the second last still roger and out leads what a gutsy performance he's three in front oh he hit it hard trans yonder's grabbed him so has lord rill old tenga harry only three lengths away battling on he's plugging on from vim He's gone, Roger, and out now, and Lord Rill trans on to take the lead, but Tengahari, he's battling on like a steamroller behind them, followed by Vim. Tengahari pulled to the outside, and the Taswegian, oh boy, he's charged past them now in the straight from Lord Rill trans on to Vim, here's the last. Tengahari's over it safely, he's going to win the Hiskins, and Tengahari comes away, a great effort, scores by about three lengths to Lord Rill, a head away third, Vim. Fourth trans yonder, Arabian Myth made up some ground next, and so did Prince Lindell. They're followed by Red Rody, Mr. Spence, Roger and out, Norfolk Tiger and Canna High last. Another Tasmanian getting the money in race number three. The Hiskin steeplechase, Tenga Harry at sixes, Lord Rill 15s, Vim at 20s, Monsis lost his rider at the third fence at four to one. In the Frank Dempsey handicap race, four Jamaica in got out to the amazing odds to start favourite at nine to four. Racing and uh, jumped away fairly well too and uh, getting away quite uh, quickly on the inside was Bowles Orber and it's going to lead them on settling down from Bergman's Boy followed by dual fame secret diamond hater chief and a length Jamaica in and Reman. Three lengths to Melly Bronze and they're followed further back at the head of the others then by uh, Daring Devil who's back towards the rear with Dusty Springs who's a long way back in the early stages too and last all of opposition. On the corner the first time and Bowles Orber a length Bergman's Boy a length and a half secret diamond and over on the outside of it then came uh, in fourth position at this stage dual fame Hyder Chieftain up very close racing keenly with the blinkers on today reman the rails a length and a half Jamaica in daring devil two links to Melly bronze three to dusty springs and all of opposition down to the judge they race and bowls over a lap outlet a length and a half Bergman's boy pulling one and a half secret diamond inside dual fame two links to reman at Hyder Chieftain a length to Jamaica in who's trailing Hyder Chieftain one further back daring devil a length and a half Melly bronze and two to Dusty Springs with all of opposition. 1,600 out, Bowles Orber, a length and a half, Bergman's Boy. One away, Secret Diamond on the inside of Dual Fame, a length and a half, Reman. Half a length, Hyder Chieftain, a length and a half, Jamaica in, Daring Devil. Two lengths to Melly Bronze, followed by all of Opposition and Dusty Springs. Bergman's Boy pulling hard's gone up to the lead, and Secret Diamond got a run on the rails to make a line of three with Bowles Orber. One and a half further back, Dual Fame, Reman. A length and a half, then to Hyder Chieftain. Uh, never been so close in his life. Two and a half lengths, Jamaica in. One 
one and a half further back, then Daring Devil, a half Mally Bronze. Then all of opposition and Dusty Springs. At the 900, Bergman's boy in front, Dual Fame's gone up to its girth. Secret Diamond settled back third on the fence, and Hyder Chieftain letting go now has gone up fourth. Jamaica in going for a rails run, and here comes Mally Bronze around them with all of opposition. At the 800 corner, and still the leader here, Bergman's boy, but only by about a half length as the challengers come at him now. Dual Fame quickly headed him off, and now Hyder Chieftain runs up second. A length Jamaica in and Melly Bronze pull to the outside and they've kicked away from the rest. Dual Fame in front, Hyder Chieftain tackling it and Jamaica in and on the outside Melly Bronze have run up past Hyder Chieftain then Bergman's boy, Dual Fame headed by Jamaica in from Melly Bronze a length to Hyder Chieftain and then Bergman's boy Dusty Springs but Jamaica in has hit the front. 300 to go Jamaica in, let shot away a length and a half clear. Hyder Chieftain can't go on Melly Bronze struggling and Jamaica in set sail for home with the race one. Two and a half lengths to Dual Fame, Melly Bronze, Hater Chieftain, Dusty Springs, but Jamaica in's going to canter in. The boy young Georgie Evagora had the fall through the week. Good luck to him, a brilliant ride. Jamaica in by four lengths to Dual Fame. Close for third, Hater Chieftain, probably a nose to Melly Bronze. Then four lengths, Dusty Springs, Bergman's boy, Secret Diamond, Daring Devil. Then all of opposition. 150 metres away is Bowl Zorba, and behind it again was Reman Lust. Never really going to be beaten, Jamaica in 9 to 4 and favourite an impressive winner over dual fame of 10s and Hyder Chieftain 5 to 1. One of the big races, in fact the principal attraction yesterday at Mooney Valley, the Sterling Manicato Stakes over 1,200 metres and in a great field, the Bart Cummings train campaign king the favourite at 6 to 4. Set and they're racing. Touch of Genius was a little bit slow, aiming also, and Avon's Lord beat them out from testimony over on the outside. Uh, Touch of Genius going through in the centre quickly up towards the leaders, and Ever Ready's up with them. Lockley's Tradition about fourth, Campaign King back about seventh. Straight Grey on the inside with Bell, Spirit and Confucius Flyer, and they were followed then by Dazzling Duke, who's back second last, and back at the rear, King Phoenix now and aiming. At the 700, Testimony a half length, Ever Ready, three deep as Avon's Lord, a length and a half. Lockley's Tradition who's dropped in on the fence from Touch of Genius, Canny Lass around them. They will follow a length and a half further back then by Black Charleston. Campaign King is next from Dazzling Duke, but they're giving them good starts. At the 4.50 they race now. Testimony and Ever Ready the leaders. Lockley's Tradition getting out off the fences, coming after them with Canny Lass and they're the only four, I'd say. Four lengths to Touch of Genius, Campaign King and Dazzling Duke. On the corner Testimony and uh, on the outside Ever Ready a length to Lockley's Tradition and on the outside Canny Lass. These are the four three lengths to Dazzling Duke starting to run home like a train. Halfway down the straight, Lockley's Tradition and Ever Ready fighting it out from Canny Lass and Dazzling Duke. Lockley's Tradition put its head in front near the line. Dazzling Duke flying. Lockley's Tradition and next to Dazzling Duke. Third either Canny Lass or on the inside testimony from Ever Ready. Three lengths away, Bell Spirit and they were followed then by King Phoenix. Next was Confucius Flyer, Campaign King. Very disappointing from Touch of Genius. They're followed by Straight Grey. Well back in the field, aiming and aiming. Evans Lord, one of the last home. Lockley's tradition, the mile record holder of Mooney Valley, 9 to 2, taking out the Manicato Stakes from Dazzling Duke. A great effort, second at 12s. Canny Lace, 8 to 1. And Campaign King, disappointing yesterday, but he'll strip a fitter horse next time, 6 to 4, unplaced favourite. The big result for the bookies coming up in race 6, and the favourite Dunwoody at 5 to 2. Racing. Good even start, and Bondi's Leap, one of the first away with Got the Vibes and Shapely, began well from Suzendi, Dunwoody and Miss Trellbar, and then Kalatara. Pure Bliss out wide, and they'll follow around the outside of them by Tux and Girl. Back towards the rear Coral Coast, absolute last at this stage, and just in front of it, it, it as they settle down, Curiosity, Rose and Zizzlers. Round that first corner, going to the 1200, Shapely and Bondi's Leap having a great battle, a length in front of Got the Vibes, who's third. Pure Bliss went up fourth, and about a length further back, Tuxen Girl, followed by Sazendi and Dunwoody, the rails and a length to Calatara. Three lengths away, Miss Trellbar, and it was followed by Curiosity Rose, Zizlis, and Last Coral Coast. 900 out, and the leader now, Shapely, a neck in front of Bondi's Leap, a length and a half, Pure Bliss going all right from Got the Vibes, Miss Tuxen. Dunwoody looking to get out from the inside from Sazendi and Calatara going around them from Curiosity Rose. Coral Coast taken about eight wide, and then Miss Trellbar and Zizlis. Bondi's Leap sprinted to the lead at the 600, got about two 
lengths to Got the Vibes getting out off the fence into second placing, followed by Curiosity Rose. Coral Coast out about five wide. Miss Trelbar getting up on the fence. Dunwoody still looking for room at the head of the others. And then Suzendi. Coral Coast continuing that run, although very wide, has gone up to join Bondi's leap on the corner from Get the Vibes. Miss Trelbar trying to get out from Curiosity Rose. And then Dunwoody under the whip and Suzendi, but Bondi's leap sprinted away again as they turned. A length and a half, Miss Trelbar. Then Curiosity Rose. Dunwoody running home late out wide from Suzendi, but it's Bondi's leap in front with about 50 metres to go, and it's going on to win. About three parts to Miss Trelbar. Curiosity Rose third from Got the Vibes. Dunwoody off the course, uh, followed by behind them Suzendi. Then Coral Coast, Zizlas and Calatara, about 30 or 40 links to Miss uh, uh, Tuxen Girl, rather, then Shapely and Pure Bliss has run last. Almost a $12,000 trifecta there in race six. Bondi's Leap 50s, Miss Trelba 25s, Curiosity Rose 16s and the favourite Dunwoody out of a place at 5 to 2. In the second leg of the double, the Meringue Handicap again 1,200 the journey and the favourite here, Romantic Game, well back from 5 to 1 to start 13 to 4 favourite. They're racing and Zippity was slow to begin. Mr Cheap beat them out about a half-length bronze night and fear no battle, followed by Romantic Game on the inside of Serendipity. Then Duke Abbey, Mr Moe got away all right. He's over on the outside next in about six placing as they settle down from all courage. A gap to Zippity running past priceless Prince and Bravira. At the 800, Mr Cheap bowling along in front. Two and a half lengths clear. He can't hold him. He's three in front of fear no battle. One away bronze night. Mr Moe out very deep, moved up into fourth placing and they were followed then by all courage in that pack with serendipity losing ground. Duke Abbey going forward and then came uh, behind them romantic game hard ridden. At the 500, Mr Cheap a length and a half to fear no battle. Bronze Knight third, Mr Moe fourth. Two lengths romantic game running on from serendipity Duke Abbey and then Zippity. But Mr Cheap at the 400 still under restraint. Two lengths to fear no battle and Mr Moe Bronze Knight is struggling and they're well clear of romantic game. But they've got to get this. I'd like to be on it on the corner. It's two in front Mr Cheap from fear no battle and Mr Moe under the whip followed by Bronze Bronze Knight, 150 out, Mr Cheap holding them safely at bay. In fact, he's starting to come away now from Fear No Battle in second placing, and Mr Cheap wins easily by three lengths to Fear No Battle. Mr Moe just last for third, priceless Prince zipping home fourth. Then Bronze Knight, Serendipity, Zippity, uh, Duke Abbey. Next romantic game, a long gap to Bravira, and all courage was last. Yes, well, I bet Bill Collins knew that Serendipity and Zippity were going to finish together at the end of the race. Mr Cheap, a good performance, did it at both ends at 6-1. to one. Fear No Battle, sixes. Mr Moe, 13-2. to two. And Romantic Game, the heavily backed favourite, unplaced at 13-4. to four. A lucky last, the Sterling Virginia handicap, 1,000 metres. And Take My Picture was back from 7-2 to two to start the favourite at 11-4. to four. Racing. Away they go in the 1,000 metre event. English Charm a little slow. She flies first out from Special and Borna Lady got away well. They were followed then by Pelistar driving through on the inside of them. Settling down, she flies an Ecta Special. Two lengths, Pelistar, Borna Lady, Society Bay the outside. They were followed by Galette driving through in the centre from Eloquent Edition and then Cammy the outside from English Charm, Rich Port. Further back in the picture is Shackle towards the rear of the field at this stage and take my picture second last and last of all just Footloose. Up by the 500 and she flies ridden for dear life. Special looks to be cantering alongside it. One and a half lengths away is now Society Bay starting to run on, but he's got a big grip on Special. They were followed out wider on the track then by Pal or Star and Cammy, but he lets Special go on. Oh, it's cantered away. This is home for all money. Special three lengths in front of Society Bay in the straight. Then she flies and Special's going to canter to the line to win by four lengths to Society Bay. Great run for third. Pal or Star hanging on on the outside. On might have got it with Borna Lady, very close. Then Rich Port followed at the head of the other, She Flies. Next in the field, uh, behind those horses came Shackle. They were followed by Cammy English Charm and Gillette. Long Gap Eloquent Edition. Take my picture second last, a shocker, and last home just footloose. Yes, a very impressive performance by Special at 4-1. to one. Society Bay also impressive, running second at 9s. And Pelistar third at 8-1. to one. Take my picture, the favourite out of a place at 11-4. to four. The doubles yesterday from Mooney Valley. Extra double, a pair of aces, $11.75. Daily double, 1-7, and 35.40. And the Quadrilla on 119 and $1-1-9-7, $1,493.20. At Warwick Farm in Sydney, a big meeting there. 7 and 6, the extra double, 7.15. Daily double, 1, Riverdale coming back. And 12, Pleasant Flight, 22. 295. 
The Quadrella in Sydney, 617 and 2, $741.40. In Adelaide, they raced at Morfordville, where the extra double, 6 and 4, paid 66.20. Daily double, 3 and 2, 29.75. In Brisbane, the daily double, 7 and 9, 47.45. Mornington Racing, extra double, a pair of 7, 68.60. The daily double, 2 and 7, 710. And the Quaddy on 2, 777, $1,766.80. And it was the big card yesterday at Mooney Valley, as you saw it live and exclusively here on 7 yesterday afternoon. Well, it's been a big week in Greyhound Racing. We'll be back to take a look at the highlights after this break. Holden's Luxury.